In this video, we will look at how to update the call list. Let's start by looking at how to add a new contact to the call list. The first step is to fill in the call order field. Type in the number to indicate the sequence in which the contact will be notified. For example, if you wish to notify a certain user first for alarms, you should type 1 in this field. Note that the system will automatically reorder the call list based on the number entered in this field. Next, type in the first name and last name of the contact in the respective fields. Remember to leave the personal identification code, PIC, field blank. It is important to note that the PIC and the contact should be listed in two separate lines to keep the information separated. This also helps avoid the accidental deletion of a PIC. The next thing to do is select the required option for Enhanced Call Verification, ECV. It has a drop-down arrow with two options Yes and No. If you wish the contact to be called on VA signals before the police department, select the Yes option. However, if you wish the contact to be called after the police, select the No option. Next, select any option in the Permissions field. The input provided in this field is insignificant, but, it needs to be filled as this is a required field. At the bottom part of the Add New Contact section, you will see five rows. These are for adding the phone numbers of the contact. You can add up to five phone numbers for each contact. To add a contact, first type in the contact's 10-digit phone number with hyphens in the phone number field. If the number requires an extension, type in the extension number. Then, select the type of phone number in the phone type field, for example, home, mobile, work, etc. The comments field can be left blank if there are no explicit notes to mention. After filling the information, click Add Contact. The new contact displays in the top section in the assigned position. Validate the contact details and then click Submit Changes. This is how you add a contact to the call list. Next, we will look at how to delete a contact off the call list. The process for deleting a contact from the call list is different, based on whether the contact has a PIC or a user ID listed or not. Let's first look at how to delete a contact without having a PIC or user ID. Before deleting a contact from the call list, here are some important points to consider. Verify there is no number listed in the user ID field. Verify there is no word or number listed in the PIC field. In case a word or number is listed in the PIC column, verify if the PIC should stay or if it can be removed before deleting the contact completely. Another important thing to remember is that if there are numbers or words listed in the PIC column or the user ID column, do not delete the entire row. Once confirmed, click the red cross on the left side of the order column. On deleting the contact, the call list will automatically reorder, moving all the contacts up by one line. The final step is to click Submit Changes to save the changes. Now, Let's see how to delete a contact if a PIC or user ID is listed in the contacts row. First, click in the first name field and delete the name. Similarly, click in the last name field and delete the name. If a PIC is listed in the contacts row, type in PIC in the last name field. If a user ID is listed, type in user in the last name field followed by the number listed in the user ID column. Note that the PIC field can remain the same, whether it has a word listed or if it is blank. Similarly, the ECV field can also remain the same, as it no longer applies to a PIC-only row. The next thing to do is select the permissions. This field has a drop-down list of the available options. Note that when it is a contact-only row, there are only two options to select under permissions. However, when there is a PIC or code, this field gives a longer list of permissions. Select the desired permissions. If you wish to view the list and description of each option, 
click the word permissions at the top of the column. Once done, click submit changes to save the changes. That's it. That's how you would delete a contact. While deleting a contact, make sure you don't delete a necessary authorization on the account. Ideally, you should place the contact and the pic in separate rows. Next, let's look at how to edit a contact's information. To begin with, click the contacts row to highlight the information. On scrolling down a little, you will be able to see the contact's phone number. Click in the phone number field and delete the number. Type in the new 10 digit number with hyphens. Click Submit Changes to save the changes. This is how you update the contact phone number. To update the order of the call list, click in the Call Order field of the contact and delete the existing order number. Type in the new order number at which you wish to call the contact. Once done, click Submit Changes. The system will automatically move the contact to the new position and reorder the list accordingly. That's all we have in this video.